Hello everyone, my name is Griffin and we are back with another reaction video. We are reacting once again to uh, Nuke's Top 5. Don't worry about the water noise in my background. My AC unit is leaking into a bucket. <laughs> yeah. It sucks. Anyways, let's get right into the video. Uh, okay. This video is called 10 Scary Videos For You. So let's see what kind of uh, paranormal videos we are dealing with this time. TikTok user Leo Lords 15 is excited about getting a fresh start as she and her young daughter move into a new home. But soon after they move in, her daughter begins to behave very strangely. The young girl claims to have made a new friend a friend that lives inside their new house. Ooh. See, the thing is with kids. Now, most of the times, uh, I'd say it's pretty common for kids to have imaginary friends. But sometimes, and I, I think this is pretty rare, but sometimes their imaginary friend tends to be some sort of i would say probably spirit be it good or bad <clears throat> um for some reason animals and kids seem to be more well in tuned to the paranormal than i'd say teenagers or adults i don't know at what age it starts to disconnect but for some reason kids seem to be very well in tuned to the paranormal and sometimes kids tend to have what they believe is a friend that could possibly be a spirit and that can get kind of scary now i'd say probably 99 percent of the time it's just an actual imaginary friend that they make now the mom is pretty freaked out so she prepares a security camera to keep an eye on her young daughter and one day, it captures something absolutely terrifying. I'm guessing a... My guess is either one of the doors is going to open, or this stuffed animal beside her is probably going to move. That's my guess. I knew it. I knew it was going to be one of the doors. Okay. As the door was opening, I thought I heard a very, very low toned bass, like mumble or growl. I, I don't know if it was just me, but let me know if you've heard it too. That. Cause let, let's let's go back. L listen, listen very carefully. That. While the door is opening, you heard that very low-toned growl. <laughs> She's just, hi. It 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 kind of sounds like a Harley, like a, a motorbike, like a, a Harley Davidson or something. That's just like on um, idle. The 
young girl can be seen having a conversation with someone that we can't see. Then, two footsteps can be heard before the closet door slowly opens on its own. Okay, I didn't hear the footsteps. As it opens, three more footsteps can be heard, almost as if something is walking out of the closet. The girl seems very freaked out as she slowly gets to her feet and sneaks toward the door to make her escape out of the room. So it seems that whatever just came out of that closet, she doesn't want to be anywhere near it. Now what makes this footage even creepier is that this family completely disappeared off of TikTok in 2022. So whatever happened to TikTok user Leo Lord 15 and her daughter remains a mystery. I hope they're all right. Mrs. Tennyson from Tulsa, Oklahoma is an overnight caregiver for the elderly. She says that one of her clients has been having full conversations with someone in her sleep. After hearing some strange noises coming from the elderly woman's room, the concerned caregiver keeps a close eye on the bedroom security camera as the woman sleeps. It's late at night and Mrs. Tennyson is all alone when she spots something downright creepy. Every night I'm at work, I be thinking I'm tripping. But you gotta watch this video, y'all. You see that move under the bed? Like I know for a fact this coast in my client's house. I be seeing, you see it keep moving like right there under the bed? It's moving back and forth. You see it? Hmm. <clears throat> it's ghost in my client's house. Look under her bed. There was one in the top corner too. It come out and go back. Now she in bed sleep. She ain't moved an ounce. That is a bit but do you odd. See how I keep coming out, going back in. This. It's like it's playing hide and no seek joke. with the camera. Something can be seen moving around on the floor beside the bed, even though the elderly woman has no dogs or cats. After the videos posted to TikTok, viewers wonder whether the woman was visited by a deceased pet or loved one. Yeah, it could have been. Caregiver Mrs. Tennyson confirmed that the woman's husband has passed away. So could this be a visit from the woman's deceased husband? I mean, it kind of makes it seem like it's playing hide and seek or something with the camera. Or some other loved one or pet. Let me know what you think. Hiding or in peek plain sight. Now, unfortunately, this next creepy video was shared to the internet without a source. The video shows a guy doing a paranormal investigation of allegedly cursed objects in a haunted house. The one thing, when it comes to objects of paranormal stuff, the one most common thing I hate the most is dolls, especially porcelain dolls. They are one of the creepiest fucking things humanity has ever created. I, I hate them so much. I, I, I don't understand how people can have porcelain dolls and not be fucking creeped out. Using a thermal imaging camera, he looks... Especially clown dolls. ...looks around the room to check for any fluctuations in temperature. Instead, he sees something that makes his blood run cold. What the fuck? What the hell? What is that? It it, it kind of looks like somebody wearing a certain style of sunglasses and a backwards hat. Just... What the f 
thermal imaging camera shows a childlike face peeking out from the cupboard in front of him. But when he looks up from the camera, there's no one there. Not only that, but there's absolutely no room for anyone to be hiding behind those cupboards. So is this evidence of a paranormal presence caught on thermal camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Hmm. Out of hand. This next creepy video was sent in by I mean, it could, top five viewer. It, it's possible that it could be real, because if... I mean, for a person to be behind there, it should be obvious for how it would be positioned. But if the way the object is positioned against the wall, it looks like nobody should be back there. And it's possible to get stuff like that on an infrared when nobody's there. Because with a, with a spiritual body, it does have a different temperature. It has a much colder temperature than the surrounding things. So you're obviously going to get uh, some sort of reading on it. But from what, I, what I've seen, it looks like there shouldn't be anything behind there because it's too close to the wall. And not even a child could fit back there. So it's possible that that could be real. For Craig Davis from Sydney, Australia. Craig says that he was alone late one night babysitting his one-year-old son. He checks his son's baby monitor and sees something truly chilling. Did you see it? Oh, yeah. On the right side, near the bottom of the frame, a small childlike hand can be seen entering the one-year-old's crib and then immediately pulling back away. Yeah, the kid Craig noticed it. He and his wife only have one child. You, you can tell the moment the hand goes onto the crib or onto the bedding of the crib, the, the child instantly looks down and notices that something is there. I don't know if the child can actually see what's there, but he probably felt um, like the vibrations or something grab onto the bedding of the crib and he immediately looked. You can tell that he noticed something. Their son but they believe that the spirit of a young girl haunts their home. Craig says that they have had many strange paranormal experiences in their house over the last 10 years. The Melbourne Zombie. Amber Carter from Melbourne, Australia and her friend Tiana are parked at McDonald's and enjoying their food Mickey when D's. suddenly something happens. I forget, what do Australians call a McDonald's? That absolutely scares the sh out of them. Hi. Oh my god, see how they go. Go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that was, that was, it's okay. That was probably just some crackhead. Tiana. Tiana. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Amber says that the creepy woman came up to her window from behind the car and attempted to open the passenger door several times. Amber says that she was so startled by the woman's appearance that at first glance she thought she was a zombie. Well, uh, she looks quite zombie-ish, honestly, like a, a ghoulish zombie, but it's probably just some crackhead. Now, the mysterious woman certainly isn't a zombie, but after Amber shared her experience online, Locals in the Melbourne area have come out and said that they too have seen this woman and that she's known to try to open doors to cars and even apartments and houses. So sometimes it's good to remember yeah. to keep your doors locked at all times. Yo, oh yeah, it, even when I'm home, my door uh, back there, I, I have the deadlock and the chain lock both on every single time I'm home. Now, if I'm doing laundry or something where I know I'm going to keep going back out the door, um, then I'm just going to have the deadbolt locked. I'm not going to have both of them locked because it's just too annoying to undo both of them. But anytime I'm home, I always have my door locked, no matter what. I, I know the state I live in is relatively mild and it's r rare to have anybody break into your home. But still, I, <laughs> I'm not so trusting of my neighbors that I am just going to leave my door unlocked. 
I don't care how long I'm going to be out of my house. I don't care what I'm going to be doing. My doors are always going to be locked. I don't trust people that easily. And I don't trust strangers. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm always keeping my shit locked. Or she just might get ya. Oh my god, Tiago! Go! Oh my god! Even oh the dog god. didn't trust her. Oh my god! Tiana! We need scary videos. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Out of step. At around 10.30 at night in the Philippines, Agent Nomoto's dog becomes disturbed and starts barking and howling at something outside. Agent and his family are worried that they might have a potential intruder lurking just outside their house. So they quickly check their security camera footage. What they see in their backyard shocks them to their core. Hello guys, uh, Aji ko pala. Ipapakita ko lang sa inyo guys kung ano yung nakuha ng CCTV namin noong 2019 pa. Well, ayan, October 14, 2019. So, ngayon ko lang siya binijuan or pinakita sa inyo kasi uh, hinanap ko talaga tong video na to. Yung record ng CCTV namin noon sa bahay ng parents ko. So, ayan, ipapakita ko sa inyo guys kung ano yung nakuha ng CCTV namin. Tingnan nyo guys sa uh, 10, 29, 17. Okay? Tingnan nyo dito, may lalabas dito na barang usok tapos mabilis siyang papunta dito okay wait natin mag 17 okay wait lang natin ha 17 seconds ayun oh it's an apparition okay, back natin uh, back natin 17 tingnan nyo dito ayun tingnan nyo ulitin natin it it looks like it could be around like a preteen or a kid just like quickly walks by. It just it's it's an apparition of a, of a kid or a preteen. Because the build looks small. Ayon, sobrang bilis niya. Tapos yung pangalawang uh, nagpakita siya is a uh, ten thirty. Uh, tingnan nyo dito mag 20 dyan tapos sa time na to parang lumalakad na lang siya tingnan nyo parang usok tapos nawala siya dito balik natin yeah huh. yan di ba sa mga hindi pa nin sa mga hindi pa naniniwala na may mga espiritu talaga na gumagala sa bahay natin sa labas man o Lob ng bahay. So ito na, nakita ko na. The security footage shows a translucent white shape that seems to walk back and forth through their backyard, randomly appearing and disappearing right in front of the camera. But when the family goes outside to check, there's no one there. They don't see or yeah. hear Excuse anyone me. nearby. Mm. Only their family dog seems to be able to detect this strange presence. Aja believes that they accidentally captured proof of a ghostly presence. Yeah, it's because animals are very, very sensitive, and especially like differences uh, in their environment, they seem to detect very easily. Um, I mean, there are some animals who don't give no shits, and some who just don't feel anything at all. But animals are pretty, very well in tune to this sort of stuff haunting the family but what do you think this is let me know along for the ride at a fair in Johor Bahru Malaysia proud mother Rina Rosni is recording her son Moise while he's enjoying an amusement ride but as little Moise goes round and round Rina notices something very disturbing Wait, what? Another boy seemingly about the same age as Rena's son Moise can be seen seated right next to him. Huh. But as the ride comes back around, the other boy seems to have just disappeared. On TikTok, Rena says that she doesn't know who the other boy was. It might have been a child who 
accidentally died on the ride. She says that when the ride stopped and her son got off, the other boy was nowhere to be found. So she asked her son, who was that boy riding with you? But her son was confused and had no idea what she was even talking about. So who is this? Let me know what you think. Huh. Fairy or fairy tale? Now this next video was suggested thousands of times. And once again, I'm not remotely suggesting that this video is real. However, the video has gone viral with millions of viewers loving its whimsical nature. Take a look. This the spot. This the spot. Nah, come back out. Look. Why they be peeking like that? Peeking. All right, so look, let me know. This video was allegedly captured on a live stream while viewers watched in real time as a man captured what appears to be a tiny fairy-like creature peeking out from a tree hollow. Now, whether this footage is real or just some very good effects, I leave that entirely up to you. To I mean, decide. it might be a filter or something. However, but... even though the legitimacy of the video is very questionable, there are many people who just don't care. These viewers all say that they just enjoy the fantasy of watching a cute video of a man finding a fairy in a tree. Spirits. TikTok user VKT recently started a new job at a liquor store in Kentucky. He's at work one evening when he starts to hear random creepy sounds that he simply can't explain. He grabs his phone and starts to record. So I'm here at work and I'm 100% sure I'm hearing my voice right now. If uh, if you heard, if you listened really closely, it sounded like something said, over here. And here. See? Listen one more time. So I'm here at work. And here. Yeah, as soon as he says and, like uh, half a second later, you could hear something say, over here. I'm 100% sure I'm hearing my voice right now. Yep. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? What is that? I'm freaking out right now because I'm the only one in the store. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, it said behind you and then it said, hey. <sighs> it sounded like it was right behind me. Yo, I'm, I hear it. I, I, please tell me you guys hear this. Did you hear it? Mm -hmm. A soft, unexplained voice can be heard several times, seemingly whispering to VKT. And do you hear that? What is that? <sighs> please tell me you guys hear this. I reached out to TikTok user VKT and he says that he didn't used to believe in the paranormal at all and was actually a skeptic. That is, until he started working at this liquor store. <sighs> it sounded like it was right behind me. Since he has worked at the store, he says that doors often open by themselves and bottles fall on the floor randomly with no explanation. VKT says he asked his co-workers about the strange incidents. And they all told him flat out, well, uh, this store is haunted. But there's more, because as VKT continues to work at the store, things just get creepier and creepier. Okay guys, so I'm hearing like noises coming from this back room. Oh my goodness, bro, it's, it's, it's happening again. All right, I'm gonna go and, and look. Okay. Normally when something's banging on a door, it's not necessarily a good idea to go to it and open the door or any sort of thing. Just don't do it. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, I'm going to go and, and look. You, you, I don't, I think it, I think it said the name, but you could hear like, I'm gonna go and, and look. Yeah. God. 
as you can see, nobody's back here. Nobody's behind the door. Nobody just came out behind me. Like, I'm serious. Someone or something can be heard banging on the door to the back storage room from the inside while an unknown voice whispers some very disturbing things. All right, I'm gonna go and, and look. And okay, it didn't sound like it said die. Things just continue to get worse. One day, VKT is completely alone at work when this happens. You know, come on, man. All my f***ing plane. Oh my God, what the f there's nobody in the store, dude. It's freaking me out, bro. It's freaking me out, bro. Come on, where you at? Like, come on. Bro, go sit here. Show yourself. Show yourself in front of me. The door of a stand-up cooler in the back of the store opens by itself. But when VKT looks through the glass of the cooler, a dark figure can be seen quickly moving out of sight in the back room. VKT quickly runs around and into the back storage room, but he finds nothing and no one. The room is empty. Come on, where are you at? Like, come on. So what do you think is going on at this liquor store in Kentucky? Let me know. I'm guessing there have probably been some, maybe some robberies and maybe some deaths. So yeah, they're, they're probably there messing with the people and freaking them out. And see, the, a lot of the times when stuff like this happens, most of the time, what you want to do is not give a reaction because that's what a lot of these spirits are trying to do. They're trying to get a reaction out of you because that's some of them do it because they want valid. I'm guessing because they want validation that they're still there. They believe they're still alive. They're trying to interact, but there are some more, I'd say nefarious or malevolent spirits that are trying to get a rise out of you, trying to get a reaction because they they want you in like they want you in an anxiety induced state they want you afraid so what most of the times what you want to do is just not give a reaction go about your day try and be as normal as you can and just try and calm yourself down i i know it's not easy to do but you don't really want to give a reaction you don't want to give the spirit or entity what they are trying to get out of you It comes out in the wash. Popular Saudi Arabian explorer Jassim is back on another exploration to find and capture evidence of the paranormal. This time Jassim investigates a long abandoned apartment complex. Eerily enough, he finds evidence that a child once lived here. Oh wow, that's a lot of stuff. In the beginning, it kind of it, it kind of sounds like you can hear humming, like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let, let, let's listen again. Child right. once lived here. Just listen very carefully. I, I don't know if that's some sort of something in the background, like an alarm or something, but you can hear, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then a second time, a, a bit of a higher pitch, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, just like in threes. L listen one more time. It's that a child once lived here. Yeah, you can hear the humming like in threes. No, normally the a lot of people don't know it, what it, when you hear noises that come in threes, it's normally what is known as the mocking of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It, it's it's spirits just mocking that m mocking it. So that's what it usually means when something comes in threes. It's just known as the mocking of the Trinity. <laughs> 
for like unknown reason. That was actually a pretty good picture of Scooby-Doo. Old black and white photos of a young girl have been taped to the wall in one of the many abandoned rooms. Now these seem completely out of place in the old decrepit building. Then nearby, Jasim finds a creepy drawing of the popular children's cartoon, Scooby-Doo. And this is when things start to get really weird. I'm I'm kind of surprised that Nuke's top five didn't catch the the two uh, hummings in the beginning of this one. It, it kind of surprised me, and that like nobody has said anything about it. Because Jasim starts to hear strange, unexplained sounds. Hello? Sounds like it could be a drawer or some sort of uh, door. Anyone here? Go ahead. The explorer hears the sounds of someone or something moving around inside the building, seemingly close by. Jasim eventually finds a small courtyard, and what happens next is absolutely terrifying. I'm guessing it's gonna be like a shadow person. Oh my god! Hang on. <laughs> oh, that actually got me. That got me. <laughs> oh, that scared the shit out of me. God damn, I didn't. I was not expecting a a, a child's face right there. <laughs> oh, that got me good. That got me good. Focus, camera. Focus. Oh, that was good. That was good. That got me. As Jasim walks by old towels hung on a clothesline, he sees the terrifying pale face of a child with pitch black eyes peeking back at him. Terrified, Jasim. Now, I, I, <laughs> I know this is uh, influenced from Supernatural in my thinking, but I don't think anything with pure black eyes is a good thing. And the, the, the thing is, there a lot of people have. Um, figure this out and it's it's been sort of proven that demonic entities or malevolent entities will mimic a child because as grown-ups we tend to let our guard down more when it comes to children so they tend to take the form or they tend to sound more like children because they believe that we will let our guard down around the child entity and it will give them more of a chance to either latch on or attack or do something because our guard is down because we see a child. So I don't always trust uh, the child entity, especially when they have pure black eyes them jumps back but whoever or whatever it was has disappeared so could this be the ghost of a child perhaps even the little girl from the photos he found earlier could this be the sinister entity of a djinn appearing as a child or is this just really good effects and a very elaborate hoax i leave it up to you to decide God, that, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> that was good. Well, that was Nuke's top... F it, it still surprises me in the beginning of the Jasim video that they didn't catch the the humming that happened twice in threes. But I, I, I don't know if anyone else caught it. Let me know in the comments below if you were able to catch the humming like I did and since I played it three times. Just let me know if you also heard it. Because I... I don't want to be the crazy person here. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, this was Nukes Top 5's video, 10 scary videos for you. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I post three videos a week. Uh, 
I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.